Star Wars figures, R2-D2, Chewbacca, Luke, and Princess Leia. The Star Wars toy line proved the phenomenal potential of IP tie-ins. Truly remarkable toys and games for your children. After Mego said no to George Lucas, much smaller Cincinnati toy maker Kenner sold the action figures faster than it could make them. Literally. The official Kenner Star Wars models are still in production in the Orient and won't be ready for several months. Kenner resorted to selling certificates you could trade for the toys later. While all intellectual properties could spawn toys, few try. And even fewer achieve a fraction of the success of Star Wars. Let's look at three TV shows that spawn toys nobody wanted. In the 22nd century, the age of the machine. Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future, produced by Landmark Entertainment Group, was a syndicated science fiction action series aimed at all ages. Some storylines were not kid-friendly. Nonetheless, a line of toys was made, I don't believe it. including action figures and a light-sensing gun that viewers could shoot at the TV screen. Aim the PowerJet X-T7, fire invisible beams at the television targets, and score, or be hit. The TV show fires back. No kidding, Captain Power versus Lord Dread. I don't believe it. Believe it, short human. The power of the future is in your hands. 22 episodes were aired. Mattel's tie-in toys didn't sell up to expectations, said staff writer and story editor Larry D. Tillo, citing reasons for the show's demise. All trench defenses prepare to open fire. Of course, toy sales are not always a measure of quality. If you had fun playing with these toys as a kid, that's what matters. <laughs> the Fox Network debuted in 1987 with the show Married with Children, and it ran for 10 years. The deliberately tacky sitcom made stars of Ed O'Neill, Katie Seagal, and Christina Applegate. You know, the one the whole football team has a bounty on? Obviously, we needed a board game. Marcy, it's your spin. <laughs> Galoob, a San Francisco-based toy company best known for making micro-machines, released the game in 1990. Now it's my turn. The game was called Married with Children. Act like, think like, be like a Bundy. And we're playing a game that's sure to become the next middle-aged craze. Still, more than 50% of the company's revenue came from micro-machines. Why must you always be so negative? Why did you cross the road? <laughs> Visionaries, a one-season animated fantasy series produced by Sunbow Productions, is set on a fictional planet where all technology has ceased to function. People must rely on magic. You must pay the penalty for your insult! It sounds like... like a motor. That is impossible! Motors aren't supposed to work anymore! The Visionaries are a sort of Jedi Knights divided by their allegiance to white magic or black magic. Surrender of New Valoric. <laughs> Tell Dark Storm that we are less than impressed by his show of force. They you made 13 worry. episodes. We will have Hasbro effect. produced a set of action figures after the show ended. Hologram stickers on the toys made them expensive to make, but that didn't stop Hasbro from planning new figures for a second season. Unfortunately, neither the ratings nor the toy sales justified a second season. The light shine forever. <laughs> but as we said, toy sales are not always a measure of quality. If you had fun playing with these toys as a kid, that's all that matters. Thanks for watching.